Hello and welcome to the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason. It is Manchester City and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, there's a real sense of anticipation here. They'll certainly want to get off to a good start and get their first three points. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Edelson gets the nod in goal. Manuel Akanji plays alongside John Stones in the middle of the defence. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Jude Bellingham starts alongside Eduardo Camavinga in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, there are a few better players in the air. It's so dangerous when balls come into the box. So expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Mendy. And now Rodrigo. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Has eyes for goal. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. Rodri. Silva. Bad place to lose the ball. It's Bernardo Silva. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And De Bruyne firing it over. And taking care of the situation. And really pressing their opponents. Mendy. Not the pass he had in mind. The referee has given the advantage to Real Madrid. Mendy. How about the cross? Well played in from the flag, but not to any great effect. Oh, he's lost possession. Rodri Vinicius Jr. Can he finish? And it was a great chance for 1 0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. Well, that's a sad end to the attack. Well, Real could easily be leading now. They're certainly looking threatening. You just sense a goal is coming here. Well, they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green. Perhaps they can create another chance now. They have to take it away. Erling Haaland. And Grealish. Opportunity it is. And there it is. 1 0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Action underway once more. A wake up call for the Real players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Fran Garcia. Chuameni. Mendy has it. Really inventive stuff from Real here. And he takes it on. And a fine stop. The referee spotted the infringement. And it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, in some style, Edison prevents a goal. 
Who can he pick out? Clearance left a bit to be desired. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. This could be the equaliser. Oh, but he's missed it. He's completely failed the test. Well, that was a big opportunity, and they really should be level now. They have to be more clinical in front of goal. And the advantage is with City. Safe pair of hands did his job. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Well, City haven't bossed the possession, as you can see, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. And the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Grealish. De Bruyne. On to Grealish. Foden. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Can they hit on the break? De Bruyne. And he takes it on! Really high-class goalkeeping from Courtois. Put in by De Bruyne. Well, he couldn't get the header on the target, but robust defending. Rudiger, Mendy, Real using width to good effect, but they dealt with the threat posed, Rudiger, Rudiger, and there we have it, that brings to an end the first half here at the Etihad. Well, a lot to like about Kyle Walker and what he put into the first half. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes.